memory items for Airbus A320 unreliable airspeed indication. The core of all memory items may be found in Flight Crew Operational Manual section Abnormal and Emergency Procedures, Navigation section, Unreliable Airspeed Indication. For more expandable information, refer to Flight Crew Technical Manual, Abnormal and Emergency Procedures, Navigation section, Unreliable Airspeed Indication. There are three air data reference, ADR, systems in Airbus 320 family which, among others, supply the aircraft by altitude and speed information. The ADRs detect most of the failures affecting the airspeed or altitude indications. However, there may be cases where an airspeed and altitude output is erroneous, while the ADRs do not detect it as erroneous. In such a case, no ECAM alert is triggered, and the cockpit indications may appear to be expected, whereas they are false. Flight crews must have in mind the typical symptoms associated with such cases in order to detect this situation early and apply the unreliable speed indication QRH procedure. The most probable reason for erroneous airspeed and, or altitude information is an obstruction of the pitot and, or static probes. Depending on how the probe, probes is obstructed, the effects on cockpit indications differ. In a situation the barometric altitude is also unreliable, the flight path vector, FPV, and the vertical speed, V, S, are affected. In addition, the ATC transponder may transmit an incorrect altitude to ATC or to other aircraft, which can lead to confusion. Therefore, the flight crew should advise ATC of the situation without delay. Because the barometric altitude may be erroneous, the autopilot, AP, may not accurately maintain the flight level. The unreliable speed indication procedure has two objectives. At the first, to fly the aircraft. At the second, to identify and isolate the affected ADR, ADRs. It includes the following steps. At the first, memory items, if necessary. At the second, flight path stabilization. At the third, troubleshooting and isolation. At the fourth, flight using pitch, thrust references or the backup speed scale, bus, below flight level 250. If the troubleshooting has not enabled to isolate the faulty ADR, ADRs. The flight crew should consider applying the unreliable speed indication procedure when at the first the ADR check procedure, apply, or the unreliable speed procedure, apply, action line is displayed on ECAM. Or at the second, without any ECAM alert, in the following cases. At the first, a speed discrepancy between ADR 1, 2, 3 and standby indications. At the second, fluctuating or unexpected changes of the indicated airspeed or altitude. At the third, abnormal correlation between the basic flight parameters, pitch, thrust, airspeed, altitude, and vertical speed indications. Note. Rely on the stall warning. Erroneous airspeed data does not affect the stall warning, because the stall warning is based on AOA data. Note. Depending on the situation, the overspeed warning may be false or justified. When the overspeed VFE warning triggers, the appearance of aircraft buffet is a symptom that the airspeed is indeed excessive. Crew coordination is important. The PM should confirm any discrepancy. At the first. Between the standby airspeed indication and the speed indication on his, her PFD. At the second, between his, her PFD and the pilot flying's PFD. 
memory items. The flight crew must ensure a safe flight path. If the safe conduct of the flight is affected, the flight crew applies the memory items. The memory items enable to rapidly establish safe flight conditions for a limited period of time in all phases of flight and in all aircraft configurations. Weight and slats, flaps. Flight path stabilization. If the flight crew has applied the memory items, then the flight crew must level off the aircraft to stabilize the flight path. The GPS altitude can be used to confirm that the aircraft is maintaining level flight. Item number one. If the safe conduct of the flight is impacted. Autopilot, off. Auto thrust, off. Flight directors, off. Item number two. Pitch and thrust, set. Below thrust reduction altitude. 15 degrees pitch and toga set. Above thrust reduction altitude and below flight level 100, 10 degrees pitch and climb set. Above thrust reduction altitude and above flight level 100, 5 degrees and climb set. Item number 3. Flaps. If configuration 0, or 1, or 2, or 3, maintain current configuration. Item number 4. Flaps. If configuration full, select configuration 3 and maintain. Item number 5. Speed brakes, check retracted. Item number 6. Landing gear, up. Item number 7. When at, or above minimum safe altitude, MSA, or circuit altitude. Level off for troubleshooting. Flight path stabilization. If the flight crew has applied the memory items, then the flight crew must level off the aircraft to stabilize the flight path. The GPS altitude can be used to confirm that the aircraft is maintaining level flight. Summary of memory items. If the safe conduct of the flight is impacted. Autopilot, off. Auto thrust, off. Flight directors, off. Pitch and thrust set. Below thrust reduction altitude, 15 degrees and toga set. Above thrust reduction altitude and below flight level 100, 10 degrees and climb set. Above thrust reduction altitude and above flight level 100, 5 degrees and climb set. Flaps. If configuration 0, or 1, or 2, or 3 set, maintain current configuration. Flaps. If configuration full set, select configuration 3 and maintain. Speed brakes, check retracted. Landing gear, up. When at, or above minimum sector altitude, MSA, or circuit altitude, level off for troubleshooting. Wish you never need this procedure anywhere else than at the simulator lesson.